a mediator's tool chest. Here comes the conflict resolution. Michael is the conflict resoluter. <laughs> Sit up, get my posture right. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm just order a black girl, but you can call me Destiny because that's what my mama named me. Anyway, today I'm back for another episode of The Office. This will be season two, episode 21 for me, I think. Yeah, season two, episode. I don't have 10, 10, 1, 21 for me. But first, y'all know I like to refresh my memory about what happened last time. Last episode was called. Ooh, it's, it's been so many episodes. Okay. Last episode was called Drug Testing. Okay. The wife found a little piece of joint in the driveway at Dunder and Mifflin in the little driveway. So that sent him into, you know, his the white thing where he he put on his little cop costume and he took things from there to there he blew it all the way out of proportion he was questioning people interrogating people you know he was doing what the white be doing he pressed the issue so hard that the whole office ended up having to do a drug test now this was a problem for michael because michael had gone to a alicia keys concert and he had got high with a girl with a lip ring you know he said people was passing stuff and he decided to get so he needed Dwight to give him some pee. Dwight loved Michael, so Dwight gave him the pee. But I noticed that Dwight went against Angela. Angela didn't want him to do it. So it's like, who do Dwight love more? Angela or Michael? Because he went against Angela because she was like, I don't want you doing this. But he did it anyway. So does he love his romantic relationship with Angela more? Or, or his platonic friendship with Michael more? It seemed like he loved, he might just love Michael more than he loved Angela. That's something I noticed. Uh, what else happened? Jim and Pam was being real playful. She, he had, he got jinxed by her. Couldn't talk until he got her that coke. He got her the coke. They talked at the end. I think I was, when I was editing, I noticed that Ryan was at another party with Kelly. So, is he warming up to her? Because when I was editing, I saw it and I was like, I think I was talking to this because y'all know I be chatting. So, I think Ryan was at another party with Kelly. That's what I think she was talking about. But I don't think I'm missing anything major, so I'm going to move on. Um, The next episode is called Conflict Resolution. So y'all know I like to guess a little bit before I watch it. I guess just by the title, it's about to be some conflict that need to be resolved. <laughs> That's all I can guess. I mean, it's going to be a problem in the office and they got to solve it. Or, or it's going to be like a seminar where somebody come into the office and they're going to be telling them how they can resolve they're going to be telling them how they can resolve conflict in the workplace or that's my second guess but all the little sad stories i have no idea what might be going on i don't know angela dwight might be a little iffy with each other because he gave michael that pee when she didn't want him to you know pam jim might be playing kelly and ryan like i said i think ryan was at a party with kelly last episode so well at least they was talking about it so i guess he warming up to the idea of her or something i don't know uh but yeah, that's about it. So I'm gonna shut up right here and we're about to get into this episode. Have you found a band yet for your wedding? No. Because I'm in a band. Kevin's in a band. Definitely over here some wedding preparation, but I'm fine with it. He burned it up on the inside. I know it. Oh, thanks. I didn't get mine yet. Aww. And look, you don't there even are like her. I decided not to invite. And that's okay. It's your wedding. And that might make things kind of awkward, but. It's my wedding. Exactly. And Angela don't even like her. And she knew it. Angela don't even like Pam. Why she thinks she getting an invitation? Comes with a shampoo and blow dry. We're doing ID photos today. Oh. Okay. I didn't notice nothing new in his hair, but okay. Oh. What is on your face? They be doing Philly so Wrong. They be doing Philly so wrong. I sat at my desk all day with a rifle that shoots potatoes at 60 pounds per square inch. Can you imagine if I was deranged? Do you mind if I wear that for the photo? Um, let's, uh... Um, what? Let's keep our clothes. Michael! It's like child abuse. I say if Jesus saw that, he'd freak out. What's going on? 
That's Oscar, right? Sure. What's the problem? Today. Angela. There's just a little dispute over oh. the poster in their workspace. That picture? Who got her that picture? I forgot. Somebody's got her that picture for Christmas. That picture of them keys? He don't like that picture? What do you know about conflict resolution? Your answer to everything is to get divorced. <laughs> so okay, um, okay, that what was the right decision? Yeah. For me in my well, that's not going to fly here because in this office, it is till death do us part. Assuming that we don't get downsized, uh, Pam. Mm, look at that downsized word again. A mediator's tool chest. Here comes the conflict resolution. Michael is the conflict resoluter. <laughs> if we do lose, lose. Neither of you gets what you want. You understand? You, you would both lose. Michael, no one cares. Okay, okay so, so this, this the bitch he doesn't like, poster. right? Now, she did say she like pictures of kids dressed like adults. She said, "I got this poster for Christmas, and I feel I want to see it every day." Well, I guess you should like take it home. Are the true artists? Why would she have it hanging in the office? That that is a kind of a good point. It's creepy and in bad tasting. It's just offensive to me. It makes me think of the horrible, frigid stage mothers who forced the babies into it. It's like, I get where he coming from, though. It's like that, that back in the day, what they used to do like, to like the little rascals. Or what's the girl name? What's the girl name? Shirley Temple? The which They had that, like, that movie where it was like for grown-ups, but they had little kids playing it. I ain't watched the movie because it's a little, but I heard about it. Own the solution. How about I leave it up? How about she takes it down? Mm. How about... Angela can keep it up on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay, certain days. Compromise Tuesdays and Thursdays. And the answer is make the poster into a t-shirt. Win, win. Win. Fine. But. Okay. No, you're all good. Great. <laughs> he think he's taking a mug shot? I didn't have your zip code. Oh, thanks. Oh, she's going to invite her? Okay, we'll take back everything I said. I was talking out of the side of my neck. Throw that one out. Are those all the other complaints? Oh, mm -hmm. he's about to go I'll around trying to solve a conflict. You trying to do Toby's job? Now you and I have a conflict. <laughs> I order you to give me that file. That and... It's told me to go upside, Michael. Here, this is the only way this is gonna resolve anything. Every Friday at four, I have a standing appointment with Dwight for him to file a grievance against Jim. I tell him that I'm sending them to a special file in New York. That box is the special file in New York. Damn! He be complaining right. about Jim that Why much. Do I have to do everything? You don't have to do that. He be, I swear, he be doing everything but his job. Everything but his job. Meredith complains that everyone talks too loud in the morning. Could she be hung over? Creed is sick of looking at the redhead all day uh. and wants a seat facing the receptionist. Oh, uh. nice. You will notice that not one of these complaints is against me. Actually, I have a separate folder for complaints against uh, my Okay, because I'm going to say, I'm going to be real surprised. Today, we are going to get everything out of these files and into the open where it can be resolved. Mm, it's about to be a long day. You already did me. That's what she said. <laughs> you have complained about everybody in the office, except Dwight, mm. which is odd because everyone mm. else has had run-ins with Dwight. Mm. Oh, by the way, what does redacted mean? There is a, a file full of complaints in here marked redacted. Yeah, it just means whoever complained came to me later and withdrew it. Mm -hmm. There were a bunch of complaints about Dwight that were put in the redacted file about six months ago. Wait, if someone has a problem with me, why would they withdraw it six months ago? Ah! Oh! Let's move she on. She was complaining about him before? I volunteer. Oh, see? Pam and Angela really can be really be good friends. Actually, it has been withdrawn. So that is no help to us. Next. Wait, what did it say? Uh, does about she have to plan her wedding on office time? Shouldn't she do that at home? Angela did it. It was probably, she thinks it's Angela. It's probably Jim. Kelly complained. Ryan never returns my calls. Ah, join the club. Kelly. That is not a work complaint. I want that withdrawn. Aw. Fine, I'll take your name off. So no one will know. He about to dig up all these skeletons. 
and making all this beef in the office for nothing. When a name is withdrawn, does that also apply to the permanent misbehavior file in New York? There's no file in New York, Dwight. You got hey, a lot of anger under there, buddy. Thanks for on, ratting me out. out. I didn't do it. Exactly. There was Jim. It was Jim. <laughs> Someone complained that the men's room is whites only. Stanley, you know that's not true. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Why is there a picture of a white man on the door? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? And I went against my better judgment and I oh gave God, her a Pam, the please, date. it was and now it. it turns out she complained about me to Toby. Well, it was redacted. I think it was Jim. Jim was being salty because the girl in his dreams planted her wind in his face and he couldn't stand it. Jim can be a little petty, I noticed. You told Toby that Creed has a distinct old man smell? <laughs> I sprout mung beans on a damp paper towel in my desk drawer. Very nutritious, but they smell like death. Oh my god. Angela, you are to make sexually suggestive remarks to Kevin that will make him uncomfortable. I accept your decision. Oh god, Michael's throwing me in for this job. Smile. No. <laughs> I never smile if I can help it. Showing one's teeth is a submission signal in primates. When someone smiles at me, all I see is a chimpanzee begging for its life. Let me close my mouth then. This is humongous. I am not a security threat, oh. and my middle name is Kurt, not Fart. <laughs> He's so childish. Whose side is Toby on? Whose side are you on? Hey, him hey, or me? Doc, him what? or me? What? I cannot work with Jim anymore. Okay, no, either he goes or I go. Why relax? Okay. Ooh, he just swallowed. What's that? Do the right thing here, Michael. Okay, I have served you loyally for years. Mm -hmm. I deserve this. Well, he can't fire Jim. Oh, well, I guess he could, but he shouldn't. You have till five. Then why you... ignore him, Michael? He he bluffing. He bluffing. I believe it. There's a sales manager position open in Stamford. Want me to call Jan and tell her you're interested? You ain't got the power, with Dwight. Everyone has called me Dwayne all day. I think Jim Halpert paid them to. <laughs> yes. Five bucks each, and it was totally worth it. This morning, I found a bloody glove in my desk drawer, and Jim Halpert tried to convince me I committed murder. What? I think he may be the real murderer. <laughs> when I went to save the child, I saw Meredith on the can. Okay. This morning, I knocked myself in the head with the phone. I had to put uh, more and more nickels into his handset until he got used to the weight, and then I just took them all out. Every time I typed my name, it said diapers. At this point, the only the only way to solve this is if they fist fight. They gotta fight. They gotta fight. And I think Jim's gonna get beat up. He's cute. I think he's gonna get his ass whooped. He's a menace. And that's how I spent the entire day that day. Mm. Now he got the people beefed out. Cause he wanna be Captain Save a hoe all the time. Think he just can do anything and just everything and always in people's business. The Japanese. They just show him the complaints on him. Nah, that'll probably make it worse. Now Shiatsu massage where they Not everybody in here. The office tense. It's uncomfortable. Maybe Stanford would be cool. He's actually thinking about leaving. Don't have your love for Pam make you actually think about leaving, Jim. Boy, put yourself first sometime. Think about you. So are you going to transfer Jim or not? Maybe. I haven't decided yet. Let's get to work. I want an answer by tomorrow. Okay. Oh, actually, tomorrow's not good. How about later in the week? Fine. Look at him. Knew he was bluffing. 20 bucks. Oh, God. All right. Everybody, come on. Group photo for the newsletter. They don't want to take no group picture with each other. You got everybody beefed out now. Angela, we'll just press I want to talk to you about something. What? No, Pam. I am. It's about to save the date. Damn, it wasn't her. Mmm. I'm the one who complained about you. Mmm. Mmm. Alright. Come on. One I more time. Toby was gonna write it down. Hey. Okay. Mr. Oh dear. Mm. Right? Phyllis, oh fucking dear. 
didn't say three, did I? But I'm sort of an expert at Photoshop, so it turned out fine in the <laughs> what end. What the fuck? Idea he of a cage match job. is so universally appealing. But here's Damn. the thing about cage match. <sighs> Damn. Okay. It was something like, okay, I just finished season one. No, 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 wait. Season two, episode 21 of The Office called Conflict Resolution. Hmm, I guess my guess was kind of right, just a little bit. I said somebody was going to have a con conflict in the office and they was going to try to resolve, resolve it. Okay, it started with Angela and Oscar. They was having a conflict over their picture she got for... Christmas. I remember that was the year Michael. It was when Michael made them do that. Uh, he was calling it something, but you can like take people a gift. I remember the episode in. She ended up getting that picture, right? I think that was that same episode. I think so. Good. You know, it's been so many episodes, child. It's been so many episodes. Anyway, Angela got the picture of the little kid because she said she liked pictures of little kids dressed like a doing adult things or dressed like adults or some stuff she said anyway you know i guess the picture made oscar uncomfortable but i get what he's saying though because like i said you know back in them 1920s 40s you know they used to make little kids do weird shit because it's like a whole movie and i think like the girl shirley temple i think she's in it and it's like a movie with a bunch of little kids but they they supposed to be adults they're doing like adult stuff like smoking cigarettes and stuff but they kids it's a, it's a whole movie. I think I watched like a documentary or some YouTube video about it. So I get what Oscar's saying. I, see, I get what he's saying. It makes them feel like. But then again, it's probably, you know, it's probably not that really that big of a deal. You know, it's, I don't think it's nothing weird. It's nothing weird on Angela Vaughn. She just, whatever. It's whatever. Anyway, Michael, Mr. Captain Save a Hole, Mr. I Gotta Insert Myself in Anything, Mr. Look at Me, All Attention Needs to Be on Me, Pay Attention to Me. <laughs> he decided to take over his Toby job because Toby said that he really don't even do nothing about it. He just let people talk to him. He write it down, then the problem will solve itself. But Mr. Michael said, no, we're going to go around this office and we're going to solve some conflict. So he solved it with Aunt Oscar and Angela. Talking about putting it on the shirt, whatever. So that made him be like, okay, I can do this. So he go get the whole foul and he started going around the office trying to solve some conflict. But really all he did was spill everybody beans, put everybody on the front screen and get all up in their beans. Not everybody looking at each other funny. Not everybody looking at each other like, so you been complaining about me? What? You been complaining about me? Not everybody looking at each other funny. That's what he did. So he even got fucking Pam and G it's Michael's fault that Pam and GM are at odds right now because like I said when I when I heard that complaint I knew GM wrote it but Pam thought it was Angela no they weren't Angela they weren't Angela like he really spilled people beans like six months ago Angela was complaining about Dwight now she go with him like he really put people business out there he has to do that he always doing something and putting people business out like that he need to be stopped stopped but anyway, yeah, I got all off track. But anyway, Pam and Jim. Jim wrote a complaint saying that does Pam have to plan her wedding on work time? Because he getting his feelings. You know, the girl of his dreams is planning a wedding in his face. Like, I can feel it. I, I know that, that shit make him sick. Every time he hear it, it make him sick to his stomach. I know it do. It make him sick. He be wanting to throw up. So, he had to go talk to Toby about it. Toby wrote it down. Anyway, Pam was pressing Angela because she thought she wrote up a note. It was Jim. So, I ain't like the way that ended with them. I got like one episode left after this in this season, so I hope it end well. I hope. But yeah, that was about all Michael. That's why all that happened this episode. Michael just being nosing in everybody's business. Like he always is. So there's not even too much talking to be talked. Because I'm ready to, you know, I got one more episode after this in this season. So I'm not going to do too much talking right here when we can, I can be editing this, putting this out so I get to the next episode. So I want to shut up right here. If you made this spot, thanks for being here. You ain't got to be here, but you are. That's amazing. You are amazing i will definitely be seeing y'all in the last episode of season two i think right bye